Hi everyone and welcome to another video. This one's jam-packed with a lot of really cool experiences. As you can see, I flew with a hot air balloon. This was my second time since I started flying. It really is amazing how awesome they look from the sky. Uh, they're located about 20 miles south of where we normally fly, so it's a nice hike to get here. And you have to catch them super early in the morning before land. I'm guessing they take off around sunrise like we do, but don't stay up for more than an hour or two from what I've noticed. Um, this one was one of two balloons that were out here, but the other one was landing as I approached them. Um, when I flew up, um, I could see the excitement on the passenger's face. Um, I think it's probably as cool for them to see us flying as it is for me to see them flying. Maybe one day I'll take a little trip down south and um, do one of these balloon tours myself. But yeah, overall it was really cool. Here's Dan and Mark flying alongside me. We found some open field on the way back from the hot air balloons. So we're just uh, playing around in this field a little bit before heading back. But um, I thought it was a pretty cool angle. I've got the Insta360. I have been wearing the Insta360 on my helmet, but I realize it doesn't always get the, the best angles for certain things. And so on this particular one, I um, put the selfie stick right under my leg and kind of had it filming, you know, the whole paramotor experience here. And um, I think it gets some pretty cool angles. Uh, here's some pretty awesome footage of me coming through fountains. And yes, I know we are not supposed to be flying that close to neighborhoods. I did go around the houses, but I do know that I was too close to them. So sorry in advance for that. Um, if we get any complaints, um, I'll take responsibility for that. But um, I wasn't there for long, so hopefully I didn't upset anybody. Um, this is a farm near where we fly. It's really awesome. Right now it's got sunflowers in bloom, and they're just the um, absolute coolest thing. So I love seeing those. I know my grandfather would have really loved uh, seeing that as well. So I try to pass by those every time I uh, go by that little area there. Hopefully they, um, they uh, continue to get bigger throughout the spring. All right, and then the rest of this video is pretty much me chasing Mark through the fog. Um, it was a really cool morning with uh, fog here. And if you notice closely, you can kind of see it in this part, but you'll definitely see it in some of the future parts. Um, whenever we're flying through the fog, there's always sort of this trail that gets left behind from the, you know, the propellers moving that mist around or the fog around. And so it sort of leaves like a trail that you can follow. Uh, whenever you're going through it so i thought it's pretty awesome but yeah i had a blast just following mark um the wing that i've got is substantially faster than what i had before and i never used to be able to keep up with mark and um, i think i was trimmed in here too i think i was only like either on neutral or maybe you know one or two notches out when we got flying up here on our way to the balloons i trimmed out all the way i did have some sort of a weird malfunction with the trimmers though that were they sort of got twisted um in the the buckles so that was sort of odd and uh maybe a little bit hesitant to do any more sort of tricks afterwards so i just pretty much flew uh you know level and straight for the flight to the balloons i got it fixed after seeing the balloons and whatnot and um did some playing around again but yeah it was uh it's pretty interesting to say the least but yeah here's the fog flying it's pretty awesome now you might be wondering too like Oh my god, isn't it dangerous? It, and it might be, I don't know. But I know these fields really well. I've been flying these fields for you know the last six months. And um, so I pretty much know where everything is, all of the power lines, all of the fences. Um, you know, I, I know the tree patterns uh, decently well as well. So, um, so yeah, so we just had a blast sort of flying through the fog here and making sort of swirls out of everything. We'll catch up to Mark here soon. I think... Um, we go through some trees here, and then I see him sort of in the distance, um, right up here, and I'm thinking, okay, I'm gonna go catch up to Mark and um, chase him through these fields again and just sort of maybe tape and video him for a little bit. So, looks a little ominous, and uh, it's usually like colder in the fog for some reason, too. So, like, as soon as you pop up right above the fog layer, um, it gets a little bit warmer. So, it's kind of cool feeling that temperature change. This part of the video is actually a little bit out of order compared to like our actual flight of the day. This was at the very beginning of our flight. Um, this is near our LZ or our landing zone. And um, yeah, so we were just uh, messing around in the fields before we headed off to go see the balloons. I'm lifting here because I know the power lines um, are over here. So I wanted to gain a little bit of altitude before heading over to the other side of the field. This is before my trimmers got all 
whacked out too, so you'll see me do little baby wing overs, you know, as I'm playing around on the fields here. Or pendular movements, whatever you want to call them. They're not quite wing overs because I'm not going over the wing, but I'm swinging back and forth, more or less. But yeah, here's where you'll probably see some of Mark's swirls that he left behind. You can see that off to the left there. He left some, and I was like, oh, I'm going to make some of my own, so kind of dipped down into the fog just a little bit. The visibility is pretty low, so I always try to keep an eye on where other people are flying when we are in fog, just to make sure we don't collide or anything. And so it's actually pretty cool. I like, I think I start heading just pretty straight to maybe stay out of the area and um, you know not accidentally run into Mark or anything. But um, he ends up joining me here on the on the right hand side. It's actually pretty awesome. Totally wasn't expecting that, so it was pretty cool to fly side by side like this. You see how fast he is. I, I can't remember what size his wing is. I know he's got the Piper though, the ITV Piper. And it's um, super quick wing, really agile. I'm gonna have to try that wing out at some point too. I'm really uh, focused on wanting to try the Drift Air next, but um, that's coming up in Bad Apples in less than a month actually. So maybe I'll try out the Piper while I'm there as well if anyone's got one to, to demo and test out. You can see here Mark's just having a blast, just swaying back and forth through the fog. The flying lately has just been absolutely incredible. Um, I went to Christmas, Florida the week before this, and I'll get that video up here soon too because it's really awesome. Um, I had my chase cam with me then and the Insta360 and, um, and everything. And um, what was cool about Christmas was we flew the St. John's River and there were tons of gators there. So I get some really cool footage of um, us flying with the gators and there were all kinds of other wildlife too. There were bobcats out there, tons of different species of birds. I have no idea what they were, but there were definitely some pink ones out there that um, at first I thought were flamingos, but apparently they were some other bird that must change color with uh, whatever their diet is. So that was pretty awesome. Um, obviously we saw a ton of cows. I saw one hog. I definitely expected more hogs to be out there, but um, yeah, nonetheless, I'll, I'll definitely get that video up and uh, chronicle that. That one was a little scary because I was having so much fun following the river. I was just going and going and going. And um, I was about an hour and some change out away. I had been flying already. And my tank usually carries about two hours worth of fuel but I looked back or down at my fuel canister and it looked like I only had like two three liters left which is like enough for 20 to 30 minutes and I started sweating bullets I was like oh my gosh I'm not gonna be able to make it back it's my first time ever flying out here you know I, I didn't see any other people flying around me at the time and so instead of taking the river back I was able to cut across the forest but it was super sketchy, it was really scary because it was all forest. There were literally no places to land. Um, so I did that for about 10 or 15 minutes before I got to like open farmland. I thought, okay, cool. Even if I run out of gas, I've got a spot I can land. So it felt really good. Um, but I was able to get back to uh, the LZ and um, end up having like five liters left. I was totally fine. It just must have been like the viewing angle that I was looking at uh, my fuel tank on. But that whole time there, you know, I was definitely uh, freaking out just a little bit there. So I'll definitely show some of that footage as well in the next video. All right, and then we cap off the day. We uh, went back to our little LZ here. So I climbed to about 3,000 feet and thought, I'm going to try wing overs. I'm not going to be super aggressive about them, though. And um, I'm going to try to do one big one and then dissipate the energy with a smaller wing over because what i've been doing is if i do a big wing over i will um just hold that brake line and then bleed out the energy in a turn and i'm thinking you know i really need to get good at bleeding the energy off on a smaller wing over just one wing over that's sort of what um the power powered paragliding bible says you know is really good practice or 
where you see some skills. So really try to focus on that and not to get too scared. You know, if I got a big wing over and just do a, a light pull in the opposite direction. And I felt like I did pretty good with that. Hopefully this angle is pretty cool for seeing the wing overs. I haven't quite, quite found the, um, the right viewing here for, for wing overs. The 360 camera sort of does a weird job of it. So it's hard to actually see like what's going on there, but hopefully that was pretty cool for y'all and I hope you have a great rest of your day. See you later. Bye.